What's happening, gang? We're gonna tell you why we use three inch foam board insulation versus spray foam on our 30 by 40 steel building. We learned some tips and tricks along the way. Stick around, we'll show you. You're kinda like the, the Tim Allen show. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> What you doing there, Joe? Uh, filling in your crack, Chad. When I first started this project, I had my daughters out here helping me do this, and we first started cutting this foam board like perfect to fit extra tight, and we used a construction adhesive um, for foam board also. Some construction adhesive will melt your foam. Make sure you get the one that says it's for foam board. But we started, we used that, but we found if you cut your pieces, leave about a quarter of an inch gap all the way around. We started using a closed cell canned spray foam and it makes the installation so much easier. Adds was, R value. How much R value does it add, Joe, as you're filling in my crack? It does not give an R value. It's reusable, great stuff. Stick the tip in as far as you can get it when you're squirting that in there, Joe. Yes, sir. Fill it right up. <laughs> So one of the main factors why I went with the three inch versus a spray phone is the obvious, cost. We've got a quote for two inches of insulation on the walls and the ceiling it was gonna cost us $16,000. And like I said, we have a 30 by 40 building, 10 foot walls, and then we're gonna do the ceiling at $16,000. When we did all our walls, including our garage doors, our garage doors, we did the inch and a half foam board and we use three inch on our walls, cost us $2,500 worth of foam, which is, which is what, what percentage of that cost? Just shy of 16%, Chad. Just shy of 16% of the cost of spray foam. And this stuff is closed cell as well. R15 value, so it's actually a little, little more than what we would have got for, from actual spray foam for two inches. Spray foam is about five R per inch. And this is R15 at three inches. One of the advantages of using the three inch that we found was you could actually do it yourself and you're not gonna worry about all the gases and fumes and stuff if you're trying to make or buy your kit to do the spray foam yourself. And also this stuff is actually really lightweight. Even Joe could lift a piece of this all by himself and it's not incredible. screw it up. And if I get angry with some of these insults and throw a wrench at the wall and I put a hole in it. This foam board is closed cell and it's moisture resistant and it actually creates a vapor barrier as well. You just gotta make sure all the cracks are sealed really good like Joe's doing right now, filling my cracks in. High performance. Pink Panther wouldn't lie to you. Yeah. One thing to be aware of that we found is when using this stuff, if you don't have it sealed off really good or screens behind it where your metal is, um, we actually installed a rat guard down at the bottom because it was never installed here. And my daughter Haley and I actually did that to keep the uh, bugs from getting in and the mice from get climbing up and behind it. We took a piece down and we noticed a whole bunch of bugs up in the corner of it trying to get in there to make their winter house. In all reality, they'll probably all die in there. That's and, just free R value. It's just more R value is my thought. <laughs> but if you, have a, if you get your spray foam insulation, you won't have to worry about that. If you're gonna spend that kind of money, you don't have to worry about bugs getting in there. But you do have to worry about leaks if you get spray foam up in your roof. The problem with the spray foam, when you spray foam in your ceilings up on the inside or right up against everything, when you have a leak in your roof somewhere, you manage to get a leak somewhere, you won't know about that leak for months, maybe even years down the road because that water is going to leak in there and sit right on top of your closed cell spray foam insulation and you will never know it until it finally rots enough stuff away to where it starts leaking. By the time you find it, it's usually a catastrophic almost event and it's gonna cost you a lot of money. Well, another disadvantage about the spray foam insulation is it's kind of a health, health issue, you know? I mean, this is obviously a garage, so we're not living in here. Well, my family's not living in here, but I'm in here quite a bit. But when you have a company come out and do spray foam, if that spray foam is not mixed properly, to where it actually does its whole chemical reaction to turn into spray foam, that spray foam can actually sit there, not completely mixed, still putting off gases into the air you're breathing, and it's very bad for your health. With the foam board insulation that we have here, it's already done off-gassing the factory, completely cured, 
ready to rock and roll. Now, as for cutting all the material, we tried multiple, multiple different things. And here's what we found. Look how fast this saw right here actually cuts it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's not loud. Gives you a little exercise at the same time. Joe needs it. Another factor to keep in mind is if you are using this foam board insulation, we did a 30 by 40 metal building and we had a big stack. So these three inches stack up to really tall. So hopefully you have a good trailer and good straps, tie downs, tie it all down if you're going to have to haul it all. If you're doing anything bigger than this, it's, it's a lot, it takes up a lot of space, a lot more than you think. So, and we found ourselves working around it a whole lot, which was kind of a major hassle on the whole project, really. This is Mr. Tut, Mr. Uh, King Tut. Yeah, it was actually, we piled it right here in the middle of our shop, and we've had a pile of metal over here and all our, a lot of our junk in here at the same time. A big learning experience, if you are going to tackle a job like this in your shop, get everything out of your shop everything outside if you can in a different building have it completely empty you can get things done so much faster we spent most of the time moving stuff moving tripping on stuff tripping joe's been tripping over everything i kind of watch where i walk but i moved um. dumbbells three times so another tip that i learned along the way is really take the time to measure your space why is that chad well, the reason is because <laughs> for some reason, I think I had Joe do the math on that. <laughs> I bought six extra four by eight sheets of three inch and it's $60 a piece. I can't return it because it's been so long. It's a lot of money. I bought four, I don't know how I even did that, extra four by eight sheets of inch and a half that we use for the garage doors. And on that note, for the garage doors, we bought inch and a half because it fits in between the slot of the garage doors. Me, put those in there, left a good gap, put spray foam, great stuff can around all that. We got a little assembly line action going on at one point and it, it went pretty fast actually. That was probably the easiest part of the whole project. Yeah. And these are standard size garage doors so they probably work for just about any you know, regular size garage door and you could put insulation in 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on and grab a can of foam and help Joe. Seems he's got two squares left. He's like a blister. He shows up after all the work's done. Mm-hmm. Good thing I didn't get any blisters filling <laughs> in these cracks. <laughs> That'd be weird. <laughs> So while I was running around doing all the work, you may have noticed our beautiful looking ceiling here. And if you want to check out what we've done underneath that and how we took care of the insulation on that, check out our next video where we're going to do the ceiling and uh, show you our tips, tricks, and what we would have done different next time. But thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. We're going to put this video out soon on how we did the beautiful ceiling. Right. Like little Joe said, while well, I did all the work. <laughs>